Here's my best tip on how to sell your first painting. I started this off a little hot. Here's the backstory. I feel like I've rarely ever seen different artists talk about how they sell their artwork, their strategies or things that have worked for them just to sell artwork or to get commissions or anything like that. So I just wanted to make a quick video as an amateur, which I very much am an amateur, how I got started and what seemed to have worked well for me in the beginning to just get the ball rolling with sales and get the ball rolling with expanding my audience and expanding my network. So here's my best tip on how to sell your first painting to people you don't know, which is important. Friends and family are typically our first customers, and that's great, but we're gonna leave them out of this example because we need to be able to reach an audience that's outside of our network. That's extremely important if you'd really like to grow. Plus, you're gonna run out of friends and family eventually. They're not gonna buy all of your artwork, so you need to be able to get outside of that. This strategy is insanely simple, but it's effective, and it's how I got my first commission order and how I got the ball rolling for many, many more after that. Ready? Give three paintings away completely for free. Now hear me out. Obviously, the goal is to sell them. But in the beginning, the only two things that you should be worried about are awareness and social proof. You need to raise awareness that you do this thing and you need some kind of social proof or validation that people are buying it and that it's in demand. People will always want or be interested in what other people have. That's just how we are wired as humans. We want things that are in demand. We want things that we know are popular. So you have to kind of create that demand and create that popularity, even if it's sort of fraudulent in the beginning they can tell you make it. So reach out to three people and just say, hey, I would love to create a custom painting for you completely for free. The only thing that I ask in return is if you wouldn't mind sharing it on your social media, saying that you ordered a custom painting from me. That's it. They'll love it. They'll share it. And now you're going to be in front of a whole new audience, a bunch of people you don't know, which is the goal. But the reason this works well is you know you're an amateur. Your immediate network knows that you're an amateur and new at this thing. Just one more layer of separation and you're in front of people who don't know who the hell you are. They just know that you're an artist, that you make cool artwork, and that people are buying what you're creating. You need to kind of treat it like a business because it's no different for a brand or anybody to hire influencers to try out their stuff. Doing influencer marketing, any type of paid advertising or all these things, you're creating that awareness, you're creating that demand because in the beginning, that's what you need. When you're new, nobody knows who you are. So you have to establish that credibility. Doing that with your own network is the best way to go. I've learned that most people don't know an artist or they don't know a painter. So once they finally know that there's one within reach, they start realizing, oh, that's a really awesome gift. Maybe I should reach out and get a painting done, stuff like that. It's good to just build that awareness. They know someone now that does paintings, that does commissions, that can paint their wedding photo, that can paint their car, or whatever it may be. You need to create that awareness. So I have a few quick notes before you go out and try this. Number one is to make sure the quality is there. I didn't give any of my first ones away until I really felt like I was good enough at doing this to make sure I could create something that people would actually want to buy. And that doesn't have to be, you know, years worth. I think after about three or four months is when I first started offering these out. But I was doing a ton of practice, really making sure that I felt comfortable in the quality of the work. So make sure the quality is there first before you go out and do this. Number two, make sure that you carefully select the three people that you're going to do this with. If you just select three different people that all have very similar networks to yours, then you're not really getting the reach that you want. I think a family or a close friend is a good selection. That way there's enough comfort to where their network will be familiar with you. And so maybe that might lead to somebody saying, hey, you know, I'd love to do something with them because they know who you are. The next two, I would make sure they're not super close in terms of who their networks are. Make sure that they're a little bit separated. And it's also best to make sure that you're not close with them. Because again, the whole point is getting to a new audience that you don't know very well. Number three is timing. There are going to be certain times of year that this is going to be best to do. So obviously before certain holidays, I would try giving some of these away around October, November-ish. That way it's kind of fresh on people minds when the holidays rolls around. As an artist, that's always when you're going to get hit up the most for gift giving and for ordering commissions and stuff like that is around the holiday season. You'll have the most success with it. Other holidays like prior to Valentine's Day and that kind of stuff may work as well. Definitely focus on the timing of when you're going to do this. Number four is to please remember that this stuff takes time. Because everyone that you give the paintings to shares them, that doesn't mean your inbox is going to get flooded right away with DMs. It doesn't always exactly work that way. It comes periodically. It seems to come in spurts sometimes. One person may say, oh, I want to do something thing, but not quite ready yet, maybe in a few months. But the networking aspect of that is there. So maybe if you have somebody reach out and say, hey, I really love your artwork, somebody that follows you and you want to say, hey, thanks so much for the follow. If you'd ever like to do anything custom, just let me know my commissions are currently open. It's actually a side note as well. If you want to, you can put commissions are open in your social media bio so that people are aware that you're taking commissions. That's just something that you can do. The biggest piece of advice I could give you is just to keep consistently painting. Even if you don't have orders coming in, keep painting, keep putting out content. It shows everyone that you're active and that you're really serious about this stuff. What can happen, and I've seen this with other people, is they post very seldomly and it makes it look like
like you're not really about it. Like you're not really an active artist. Like you just kind of do it casually. And I can promise you people are not gonna wanna pay money or at least big money for someone that they feel like just kind of does it here and there whenever they feel like it. They wanna know that they're getting it from a real active artist who really loves what they do. I really recommend you to keep painting, keep improving your craft. The people will come. Just keep doing it on a consistent basis and just be patient. But I promise you they will come around. That's it, nothing groundbreaking, but with a clear laid out strategy and some solid execution on what you're doing and when you're doing it, it helps you have a structure. And I think you'll start seeing that it, people are gonna take you more seriously. People are gonna get more interested. Your network will grow. And hopefully that'll eventually lead you to having new customers and just being able to create artwork for other people. So please try it. I would love to hear if any of you have any success with it. If you have any other questions or anything, just let me know. And I've never said this in a video before, but I am really trying to take YouTube seriously. So like, subscribe, comment, do all of that. Follow along because I am gonna have a big how-to section where I'm just doing how-tos on strategy, doing how-tos on painting stuff, artwork, filmmaking, all that kind of stuff. So I'll be doing that a lot more consistently, doing stuff like this. I just think it's fun and I don't see a lot of artists talk and try to help each other in terms of strategizing how to grow their business or grow their brand and all that stuff. There's a lot of gatekeeping in this, in this biz. I don't like this. I feel like we should try to help each other any way we can. So anyway, good luck with that. If you have any questions, just let me know. See you next time. Thank you.